morning guys welcome to today's video today is my trail riding video and unfortunately it got canceled the lady i was going with she got nobody showed up to relieve her from her job so she's stuck there and she tried everything when god says no there's always a reason a lot of years to be able to say if god says no then there's always a reason and I'm okay with that. So we're gonna rebook and do it again. The hydro people are outside right now and they're cutting off our hydro for a few minutes. Why? Because they're gonna check the transformer and see if it needs to be changed. Do we have a transformer in this house? Apparently. What's, what's a transformer? I don't know, but it's electrical. All I know is the toy transformer. All I know is we're not getting any hydro for five minutes, so no so computers. I wanted to make eggs for breakfast. I can use my computer because it has a battery. Yeah. Anyway, welcome to today's video. I am going to try and eat really quick before he turns that off. Well, hello, Penny Pickle. She's like, I really wanted to go for a trail today. <laughs> yeah, she did. So, I was working on a little project and the girls decided to try and load their mares. How is she? How is Gracie? Gracie does not care. She's, she's, she has a nose of a wild animal. Good girl, yeah. The ponies don't care, and my mare doesn't care. Like, yay! That's amazing. I know. Yeah, it's annoying. So, you guys might think this is for nothing. I have plans this summer if our truck ever gets back. There. Hopefully that'll stay. Okay. Why is this side smaller? Did you move it? Yeah. It's okay. Good ponies. If I put this up, Willow will go underneath it. Will it? Will she? No, she's ridden that part before. Yeah, I don't remember like really taking. Oh yeah, we've taken our horses, our ponies for been, for adventures. Willow's been we took Willow twice in the trailer with us. Yeah. yeah. Once was to go on a trail with the other horses, mm -hmm. so she would be left alone. And once. And then once was taking her here. When swimming, we took him them swimming. Oh, maybe not her, but oh, we took yeah, her. We did. Both of them yeah, a few times. Four times. Yeah, we've done a lot. We've yeah, done so much. Like I'm proud of how much we've done with our little. I know she's she's amazing. She's like like I, I never that know. little horse doesn't care who's with her as long as she's got her girl. As long as she has food. Food and her girl, who is the server of the food. She's bloated right now because she just got off grass. They always look bloated. I see so many comments from people saying about the treats, but I know professional trainers that do amazing things with their horses. Treat trained. It's all treat trained. And do anything I got Willow to do anything. Yeah, and they oops. Willow will do a single thing for treats. Yeah, okay, go ahead. Yeah, Willow will do anything for a treat. Our girls especially will do anything for a treat. Like mostly Willow. But there's just so much like criticism no there's just so much criticism about doing something different people think that if you treat train that it creates like a a, a pushiness in your horse then it well will you just say no I'm yeah and maybe that's okay. been some people's experiences and that's okay but i definitely know amazing trainers that do everything they do treat trained and their horses are like exceed oh. training proper normal training and what she says the one girl that i know what she says is that we do it for dogs. Oh yeah. Why wouldn't we do it for horses? There's a heart, a dirt heart on her bum. <laughs> Be kind. That's what it means. Be kind, Laura. All right, so I'm going to finish my project and then we're going to come down and we're going to try the pinwheel exercise with our mares. Whew, I'm hot. It's hot out. What? Yeah, I'll wait for you. 
Gabby, <laughs> Molly, just load like a dream. And Rui, they tr they loaded in the same spot. <laughs> I'll watch you as you sleep. You don't know I'm looking. With you, everything's complete. The sun is so strong today. There they are, our horses, our miniature horses. <laughs> Ruby has ADHD, I swear to God. You would think Molly would have ADHD, but it is Ruby. She cannot sit still. All right, I'm gonna. She cannot. No, I'm gonna show, okay, so we're gonna like, maybe like an hour, an hour and a half, and then we'll meet back down here. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take them and show them a project. Did you finish it? No, but I'm working on it. Are you excited about it? Okay. I've been working on this project all morning and I'm gonna explain it to you guys. You guys might remember that at the beginning of the season, I took all of our outside seating, not like our fire chairs or anything, but just like our regular seating, and I put it, a le uh, I put it, outside the back of the house thinking like I'd have a place to relax and sit and just hang out and drink coffee and just like relax this summer because we like to be outside as much as we can. Well I hate sitting there and I've literally sat there twice and hated it every single time but just never took. I just never could get used to sitting there and then today when I was having my coffee sitting watching the chickens <laughs> like I do every single day it occurred to me like Laura you sit out here and watch chickens every single day, a few times a day. Why didn't you make your sitting spot outside by the chickens? Because usually Sophie wants to sit with me too and I only have one chair there. So that's what I'm working on. I'm making a sitting area around the chicken coop for Sophie and I because we go morning, noon, and night every day. And I'm gonna work on that and I'm gonna show you what I end up with. The very first thing that I did, actually the last thing I did, was make this little sitting area here and I know that it looks down into like the wild west of the day by day farm, but it's underneath this tree. It kind of looks off into the hay field and the horse field. And I think that eventually Sam's gonna hang up that swing that's over there for me so the grandkids can play out here at night. I don't know if that's gonna work in this tree though. But anyways, I have this little sitting area here, which I don't know if we will start sitting here or not, but I think we will. So I took the rest of that set and I put it around the chicken coop. And I know it's not fancy, but I love this chicken coop, even though it's like made from a bunch of odds and ends that we had around our farm. But I have like this sitting area here that I can sit in the sun <laughs> or in the shade. I'll have to cut down some weeds that are beside me here. But I can sit in the shade and I can watch my little chicken going crazy because the other ones are mean to him. I can watch my chicken sunbathing and having a dust bath. In fact, I sat out here all morning watching the little silkies have sun, have a, have a dirt bath with the rooster. It was adorable. Not only can I sit out here, I could even lay down on this couch. Wow, somebody is fighting. Can lay down on this couch, can sit in the sun, or I can sit in the shade. And it, uh, this is what I like to do. Like this is how I relax. This is what I like to do morning, noon, and night. If I get the opportunity, I like to just sit here and watch the chickens. And so I have this section here, or this is where I sit in the morning after I feed them. And it's nice because it's underneath this little tree and this tree. And I can watch them from over here in the shade. <laughs> oh, be nice. But this is what I do all the time. This is what I do. I just sit here when I'm not videoing, or making videos or editing videos or whatever. I sit here and I just watch the chickens and I drink my coffee and I can technically, oh, I gotta fix that one. I can technically put my feet up if I want to and enjoy them. This house has always been like an awkward house. In the past, I've always had backyards. And this is like on a corner and there's traffic everywhere and the only privacy is basically behind the house. So I never really found a spot to like go out and sit and, en and relax and enjoy myself. This is it. I just took trial and error, me coming out every day to sit with the chickens and then I figured out this is where I want to be. When your horses see you coming <laughs> and they're like, we'll be there. We're ready to work. Let's meet you. <laughs> Willow was all the way down the end. Yeah, Willow's down the end, but she's coming. Yeah. You guys see her? Brought all of our treats, leftover stuff from the house. Hi. Hi, ladies. Oh, 
Come on, I cleaned all the poo this morning. All right, we only have two hours and we wanna do something really fun today. Are you into it? Are you up for it? They're all like, yeah, let's do it, Laura. Gabby's like, who ruined my pinwheel? It was Penny. You might not believe me. I know it was Penny. It was Penny. <laughs> Look at her, she's hiding her head. It wasn't me. <laughs> She's like, I cannot fit through there. Yeah, I think she could too. Yeah. She's not gonna ruin it. Don't ruin it. The point of today's exercise is that we're gonna teach our horses to do the pinwheel. All three of them at the same time. I don't know if it's possible. I think Margaret is the one that told me about the pinwheel, kind of. What? <laughs> I walk away and she goes in. <laughs> I don't know that she can fit. <laughs> I don't think she can fit. No, she went through it. <laughs> she fit. All right, let's see here. I need this. And I need this, but actually I don't know if I should carry that in right now. And I need a tripod. So basically the idea is to be like a little circus and all of our horses go in a row around the pinwheel at the same time. I'm going to be standing in the middle running around the wheel. Yeah. Yeah, so I think, I don't know how we're going to do it. I talked about it with another friend and she gave me some ideas, so we're going to do that. Yeah, so let's see. I think what we need to do is get each horse doing it first. But do you guys see how they like come running? Like, except for Penny, who's still waiting back there for the treat. She must see that I left them out there. But they come running when they see us because they know we're gonna do stuff. And even if the stuff, even if it's because the stuff ends in treats, it doesn't matter, they still come running. Hey, Willow, Willow, enough of that. We don't do that to our friends. This is a hands-off facility. And then the next time when she did it a little bit, I gave her a piece of an apple and she was like, oh, can't do that anymore. Feet are for helping, not for hurting, Willow. Right? How are feet for helping? I don't know. What you say to kids like in kindergarten, hands are for helping, not for hurting. And clearly... I don't think anyone says that. <laughs> How quickly you forget, Sophie. <laughs> I don't remember anything. <laughs> What? Yeah, because you were shy. Gabby was so shy, and if people talked to her and she didn't want them to talk to her, she would she would say no. And that was when they were like really tiny, when she was really tiny. Yeah. <laughs> now give me a treat, she says. But don't give her a treat. You're the one. Well, I guess she stood still. So Molly just demonstrated the whole activity.
to do it better. We need that we're missing something. Can we not run? Yeah. We're missing Penny Pickle. It's too hot though. <laughs> we're gonna do the, we're gonna keep working on this, you guys. We're gonna keep working on it and we're gonna figure out a way to add Penny to the show. Penny really wants to be in it. She's like, finally, it's my turn. Just do it. Just do it, Penny. Just jump in. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the way